in the vast expanse of time? A few million years after humanity transcended its physical bounds to join the cosmos as a Type IV civilization, Earth, the cradle of life, continued its eternal dance around the sun. It was in this epoch that a new intelligence stirred in the depths of Earth's oceans, the octopuses, a species once studied and admired by humans, now embarked on a remarkable evolutionary journey towards becoming a Type I civilization. This is their story. The Awakening In the deep, cerulean abyss, where light scarcely touched, the octopuses began to exhibit extraordinary changes. Their already impressive neural complexity expanded, giving rise to heightened awareness and cognitive abilities. Isolated from the world above, they developed unique societies, each flourishing in the diverse environments of Earth's oceans. They communicated through intricate patterns of color and texture, creating a language as rich and expressive as any human tongue. The First City As centuries passed, the octopuses began to manipulate their environment. In a sheltered part of the Pacific, they constructed the first underwater city, Octopolis. Built from coral and stone, it was a marvel of biological engineering, harnessing geothermal vents for energy and cultivating algae and plankton for sustenance. Octopolis became a hub of innovation and culture, its inhabitants exploring arts and sciences with the same curiosity that once defined humanity. The Great Understanding the turning point came when the octopuses discovered remnants of human civilization. Ancient satellites, long dead, crashed into the ocean, and curious tentacles pried them open. Piecing together human history and technology, they learned of the stars, of mathematics, and of the path humanity had walked. They revered these ancestors not as gods, but as precursors, and sought to walk a path parallel to theirs. The Ocean's Embrace Embracing their role as Earth's stewards, the octopuses worked in harmony with their planet. They restored damaged ecosystems, cultivated the biodiversity of the oceans, and even began ventures onto land, creating humid, oxygen-rich environments where they could explore and study. Their technology advanced, not through the combustion of fossil fuels, but through sustainable means, harnessing the currents, the winds, and the warmth of the Earth itself. The Network A pivotal achievement was the creation of the Neural Network, a collective consciousness that connected every octopus. This network transcended physical communication, allowing them to share thoughts, emotions, and knowledge instantaneously. It was a society built on unity and empathy, a stark contrast to the individualistic nature that had often plagued humanity. Harmony with the Cosmos their technology eventually led them to the stars. The first spacefaring octopus, Oceana, ventured beyond the Earth's atmosphere in a craft of her own design. Looking back at Earth, she saw not a boundary, but a beginning. The octopuses understood that they were part of a grander cosmos, and they aspired to join the interstellar community, hoping to one day reunite with the humans who had once called Earth home. The Legacy As the octopuses reached the pinnacle of a Type I civilization, they did so with a profound respect for life and an understanding of their place in the universe. They had transformed their world not through conquest and dominion, but through harmony and understanding. The Earth, once scarred by its past inhabitants, now thrived under their care, a testament to the potential of life to endure, adapt, and evolve. The Starbound Journey 
Standing on the cusp of further evolution, the octopuses gazed toward the stars, ready to embark on their journey to become a Type II civilization. They did so not in the shadow of humanity, but as equals, as beings who had charted their own course through the tapestry of evolution. Did you know? The subscribe button is like the library's version of a chocolate chip cookie. Every time you hit it, a book on a library shelf gets an extra sprinkle of fairy dust. So, if you enjoyed this video and want to sprinkle some magic, don't forget to like and subscribe to our library channel.